a pile of umbrellas. They're all novel ones. They can be used as normal umbrellas, but they all have a quirk to them. The first one, for instance, for children, opens up to a kangaroo with ears that stick up. Huh. It acts just like a normal umbrella. I like the way it folds so flat with the ears receding into the canopy. One for small girls. You've got a little, nothing to push inside, but here you have a little handle. And the idea is you turn the handle, and this thing slowly, oh, this is not working. Oh, it is. Here we are, here we are, here we are. It goes up and up and up and up. Let's go a little bit further than that. And I think it just about fits my big head. And then you just have to uh, wind it back down again to make it retract. Put the handle in and pack it away. Uh, a duck handle. Well, I added that myself, actually. The original was just a plain wooden handle, but I like the idea of having a duck top and bottom. Quack, quack, quack. When you open it up, a duck comes out with a great long beak. Still an umbrella, still keep my head dry. I quite like the idea of opening and closing this piece here to make the back duck look as though it's quacking at you. But again, it's beautifully spoked so that it folds flat. Large umbrella, this one, and quite heavy too. It's one of my earliest ones, and it is a big surprise. Two buttons to push, and it opens up into a double canopy, a double umbrella for you and your partner. Walk down the street, arm in arm. Again, it folds flat very elegantly. Pull into sides, and uh, Twin Peaks. For the tourist in London, an umbrella which contains a sort of useful map, but there's one little drawback. And that is when you've got the umbrella up in your right position, you can't read it, it's back to front. You've got to expose your head to the falling rain, see where you are, relocate yourself, go to the right street, and then put it back over your head again. So there was a slight drawback. They should have done the canopy the other way up, then I could have followed where I'm supposed to go next. So each city would have its own umbrella. A Japanese stick, but no, it's actually, as well as a walking stick, an umbrella. Take off the rubber end, push on here, and like magic, up it pops. Little shake to make it sure it comes out, and then a very useful umbrella that one. When it's finished raining, pop back in. I'm going to put the rubber bag on back on the top, and you resume it to a walking stick. An umbrella, would you believe? Well. For Coca-Cola fans, this is extraordinary, but it does work. Inside, telescopically, with a bit of shake, this will open up into a perfectly normal red canopy of an umbrella. No Coca-Cola to drink in there, I'm afraid. Never mind. Push it down. This one is quite a problem to pack again. I won't do it now, but you've got to do quite a lot of folding and refolding in order to make sure that it goes completely into its bottle again. This is a strange one, because at first sight it seems ridiculous. Upside down umbrella? Well, no, no, that's not the idea. The idea is on this little clip here, you're supposed to put the dog's collar. And you then walk down the street with the dog under the umbrella, and your own umbrella, holding an umbrella, going tick, 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 walking your dog. A doggy trolley. Strange one. Pretty one, this. It's uh, a jungly, jungly umbrella, I call it. I should really get some coconuts or something underneath it so that when it goes up, you can have a few coconuts hanging down. So it looks like a palm tree. This is just a little bit of cloth to give it a sense of thickness. Or a few monkeys hanging down would be nice, isn't it? But it does keep still my head dry, so it is an umbrella and it is functioning. Jungles. The Redskins umbrella, if you're a supporter of American football, this is the one for you. 
It opens up. A very nice one, this, because it keeps your shoulders dry as well. It looks like a helmet. It's deeper at the sides, but here's a helmet where I can keep an eye on the team as I'm cheering on the winning team. So a deep one, and it's on the logo of the American Redskins. When it stopped raining, again you can come out to the canopy and... This is a nice idea from La Villette in Paris, Science Museum. It's a normal umbrella on the outside, but on the inside they have a complete star map, all in French actually, showing the constellations of the stars. I do feel they should have made it luminous so that you could actually see them at night glowing, otherwise you had to have a have little torch. But you'll see all the signs of the zodiac in French there, to take it out at night time, on a starry night. And it will keep my head dry if it suddenly stops being sun starry and it starts to rain. A joke umbrella, I'm afraid. This was actually a little tiny one, part of an automaton which I've since lost, but I put a large full-size handle on it. So for people with very small heads, which I don't have, or if you want to keep your wristwatch dry, which you don't have, it would function as a little umbrella for that purpose. But a joke, really. And on the subject of jokes, this one I sometimes have used as a so-called invisible umbrella. You can't see it, but it's there, apparently. No, it's not, of course. Umbrella hats are getting popular. This is the original granddaddy of them. And these, these ones, you can keep your hands free. You may not place it on your head, there's a little band there. On your head like that, and now my arms and hands are free to hold shopping or kids. But it's keeping my head dry and my shoulders just about dry. So the same idea has been repeated with a nice Japanese version, which is made of beautiful silver with a blue interior. It's the same idea, but just a very superior one. This one looks more like a spaceman's helmet. Again, my hands are free to hold shopping or kids. And the third one just features the frog that I have over there as well, so that as you push the umbrella up, little frogs eyes come out of it as well, but it's an umbrella hat, so it goes on your head with a little band to go on your head. <sighs> and here is the umbrella version of that, like the one we saw earlier on. I like the little bit of clever wiring here, so that as you, reduce, as you collapse the umbrella, the little eyes go inside as well, on that little stalking there. Clever idea for an umbrella. It looks again like an ordinary one, it is, but there's something very strange about it. For if you decide that you don't want this particular canopy, you could choose another one, perhaps which suits your clothes or your particular mood. This one would be the American flag. The idea is that you have to take off each of these little creatures here, these ends of the spokes. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to do this before you went out into the rain, I think. To do it in the rain would be to risk getting your head very wet. Off it comes. So there we have now just the bare spokes of our umbrella. And then on the same umbrella you can put a different canopy. And change again if you can get some more canopies. Strange idea, but it does work. Two which light... This one is a stranger one. This one here... Is a, an automatic umbrella. It's got something curious here that when the rain falls down on this, that little red light comes on. The point is, as the rain falls down, it wets two little contacts there, which then warn you that it's raining. And hopefully, when it stops raining, the little uh, bit of moisture there will dry out and it'll tell you that. Well, I think you can put your hand out and find out, but the idea is quite a nice one. It's a rain moisture detector, which comes on when it starts to precipitate. Another slightly quirky one, just lights up when you turn on the lights. The little red LEDs here which flash intermittently as you're walking along. And one at the top as well, that's right, yes. And each of the, each of the end spokes has a little flashing LED. turn off the switch. Of course it needs batteries to make it work and you're no longer using it. 
this has also got all the semblance of a normal umbrella, except that there's nothing to push. What you have to do with this one is to load it up by pushing down like that. Then when you want to open it, you turn and press the handle. It pops up automatically. When you want to close the umbrella, you just press again and it closes automatically. Umbrella's getting a little bit old, I think. But the idea is one press will open it, one press will close the umbrella. No need to push and pull with your hands. Umbrellas. What a strange lot.